Dexter Ward, overwhelmed by the pressure of an imminent project deadline that holds the key to his future, succumbs to despair. Seeking a respite from his anxiety, he steps into the quiet night, wandering through the unusually deserted city streets beneath a full moon. His aimless stroll leads him to an enigmatic bar that seems to materialize from nowhere. Inside, he meets a beautiful brunette bartender who knows his name and seems to expect him, deepening the mystery of the night. After his unsettling encounter in the bar, Dexter once again finds himself in a mysteriously appearing bookstore. As if guided by fate, he discovers a peculiar book inside that resonates deeply with him. Before he can grab the emerald cover book, the dark beauty reaches it for him. You sure have an eye for the right book, Dexter Ward. Its shifting symbols captivating his mind. This book seems to open more than just its pages to Dexter. It feels as if it lifts the veils from his mind, enhancing his understanding of logic and code in profound ways. Despite not understanding the written language, the book translates directly into his consciousness, allowing him to see reality itself as a mesh of codes and algorithms. This revelation transforms Dexter's understanding of his coding project, making the complex tasks seem trivial and igniting a deeper curiosity about the nature of reality itself. Of this meeting. 
Her sharp eyes had watched Dexter throughout the presentation, assessing not just the code, but the coder himself. Dexter's heart pounded not just with pride, but with the secret knowledge of where his sudden leap in talent had originated. Dexter, that was not just impressive, it was revolutionary. You've not only met our expectations, you've exceeded them in ways we hadn't dared hope. Dexter, feeling a surge of adrenaline, managed a respectful nod. Madeline smiled, a rare occurrence that softened her usually stern demeanor. And I believe it's time we matched your position with your potential. How would you like to join us as an executive? We could use a mind like yours shaping our future. As the cosmos swirled with dark energies, the Dread Queen's spectral form emerged from the void, her presence chilling the very fabric of space. Her voice, cold and calculated, resonated across the cosmos, addressing her unseen master, Nyarlathotep. She began, her words dripping with a mixture of reverence and malice. O oh, great architect of chaos, the cycle approaches its zenith. The 333rd Dexter has embraced the legacy of his forebears, unaware of the true extent of our design. I shall keep vigil, watching as he weaves the end of his own freedom. And at the precipice of his triumph, I will intervene, ensuring that this time the cycle concludes in our favor. As the echoes of the cosmos fade into silence, let us pause and reflect on the game that unfolds before us. This is not merely the 333rd chapter of an ancient contest woven by the hands of Nyarlathotep, but a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of 332 Dexters who have come before. Each Dexter, a thread in the fabric of this dark tapestry, played their part in a game where victory is elusive and fate is not a prize to be won, but a mystery to be unraveled. The board is set, and the pieces are in motion. Yet remember, dear observer, that the outcome of past games remains shrouded in cosmic shadow. Not all Dexter's lost, nor did Nyarlathotep always triumph. As we peer into the abyss of possibilities, let us ponder the notion that even in the darkest of games, the light of agency shines faintly. So, as the void beckons and the 333rd game reaches its crescendo, question not merely the end, but the journey itself. For in this eternal battle of wits and wills, the true enigma is not whether one can evade destiny, but what one learns from confronting it.